Uh, I really, um, you know, Beto is a big part of our team, and, you know, we would like to see him out there, but um, I feel like we had that game under control and we were supposed to finish it. What were your thoughts uh, defending number five on his two three pointers? Were you playing him to drive? You just wanted to force him to shoot over you. What was the thought process there? Yeah, I just wanted to try to make him more comfortable. And, um, you know, he was just having one of them nights. Everything that he was throwing up was going in. So, um, hats off to him. He played good, but, you know, we got to play better. He said, okay. they didn't start off the game hot from three, like the way they, they finished it. At what point does it become the focal point of what that kid is, is doing? Because it wasn't like he was doing that all, you know, 40 minutes. I mean, yeah, like I say, he just got hot. Uh, it's like once you get in one of them, them, them little. Uh, checks and he yeah. checks. It's like, it, I mean, we're just trying to do our best, but you know, like I said, I had to talk to him. He had a great game. And, uh, we just got to do better. And when you make a 33 footer, I mean, I mean, there's no scouting report, no defense for that, right? Not at all. Yeah. 19 turnovers for the team tonight. A lot of those were unforced things. What is the cause of a lot of those? Um, I feel like we just weren't patient. Um, you know, trying to force things and. You know, as a captain, I take I take leader, I take full responsibility that I had six on myself, and um, you know, just gotta be better. Buffalo really crossed the offensive glass. Something you guys have been so good at in the past is what happened there to allow Buffalo to get all, all those offensive rebounds. Um, we didn't box out, uh, but it started in practice. Um, you know, we didn't box out in practice. Uh, you know, and translates it again. You have a bigger lineup this year, obviously, than you've had in past years. Is that maybe a little bit of complacency that you're figuring, hey, we're bigger, we're you know, we should get rebounds sometimes by default? Yeah, but you know, it, it comes down to playing hard, and you know, tonight we just didn't put out put it all together for 40 minutes, and you know, they they came out with the win. I guess one positive was Sags was really hitting threes out there. How have you seen him really progress on that in the offseason? How much can that help you guys offensively? When you he can already score and type, and now he can also add that three-point game as well. Uh, it's huge. He can spread the floor. Um, you know, B's got to respect him out there now. So, um, you leave him, he's going to knock it down, and, you know, he was knocking him down today. You said you guys even know anything about Beatles' status at all at this point? Or? Uh, we're just going day by day right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was it like without him down the stretch there? You guys just kind of needed that rudder. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, Beatles are a big part of our team. We have vet guard. Um, you know, he went out. It was it was kind of tough, but like I said, we had to we had to lead, and um, you know, we just didn't maintain it. Um, playing this is not a tax JC question. You guys are used to having that, that strong leadership with guards. Uh, do you find yourself in the lawn and sags and guys like that trying to do that today? And how that's different, but what's what's not the same? I guess when it's kind of harder for you guys as vet guards. Um, we want patient on offense. Uh, you know, we, we got guys that can pass, uh, you know, guys that can dribble. But, you know, like I said, Abita went out. Um, that was a big part. And, uh, you know, we just didn't finish out the game. After something like that, 